In this video, I'll be showing you how to edit video on any iPhone. First of all, open the Photos app on your iPhone. You can find it on the home screen or use Spotlight Search and enter Photos to launch it. You can get this app, like I showing you on my video screen, ok, now, I navigate to a video that I want to edit on my device. Fine. So here I'm opening this video, so the preview page is something like this. Ok, there isn't an edit button on this page, right? So click on the three lines labeled more options. And finally, we can see a number of tools for video editing. So now I will explain all the tools, step by step. First, I'll discuss sound. The volume icon appears at the top and left corner, and we can mute and unmute the video sound. If I tap on this audio icon, the sign will look like this. Then, if and tap on done, the video will play without audio. Again, go to the video edit option and tap on audio to mute the video. Okay, so guys, this was the trick for removing sound from a video on an iPhone with a Photos app. The next part is converting iPhone video to slow motion. However, friends, there are some limitations to accessing this feature. It means that only specific iPhone models support this slow motion video capability. Once you tap on the speed icon, you will see two options. The first is 100% with 60fps, and the second is 50% with 30fps. If I choose the second option, the video will convert to slow motion. The time frame is shown at the bottom of the entire video. Let's play this video so you can clearly understand what happens when using this tool. So, ladies and gentlemen, you can see the difference over here. To confirm this change, tap the Done button positioned in the top right corner. If you like this feature, please write down a comment below. After the playback speed, the next three option is available. First, those who often use copy edits, paste edits, or save entire videos as duplicates. Furthermore, in the Photos app's appearance, like dark mode, light mode, or system-wide, you can change settings from this option. Now, finally, I am talking about the main thing, trimming the video on any iPhone. We can trim the video from the start or the end and save it to our iPhone photo library. But if you are a person who wants to cut out the in-between part of any video, then you cannot do it in the Photos app. So for that, I use the Easy Video Cutter and Merger app, available on the Apple App Store. We can split and save video. You can do this with an already recorded video stored on your phone gallery or with a new recording video. For more guidance, see the above video guide and the link in the video description. To download this app, scan the QR code displayed on this video screen with your iPhone, allowing you to access it directly in the App Store. The next steps are to adjust brightness, exposure, highlights, shadows, contrast, black point, saturation, vibrance, warm, tint, sharpness, definition, noise reduction, and in the last vignette. In addition, you can change filters such as vivid, vivid warm, vivid cool, dramatic, dramatic warm, dramatic cool, mono, silver tone, and noir. So these are all the filters we can use to change the video's look. In the end, there is a crop tool to resize the video. From here, we can flip the video style and rotate the video align feature, which is superb and handy to use. On the right side, there is a tool to resize your selection to freeform, square, wallpaper, 9 gem 16, 4 gem 5, 5 gem 7, 3 gem 4, 3 gem 5, and 2 gem 3 sizes. So guys, please tell me how this video has been helpful to you. Don't forget to share your feedback with me in the comment section below. I'm eager to listen to your review. Thanks for watching my video.